Last year, I allowed the kids to use some of their allowance to buy some things that they wanted. And I was filming and studying uh, their behaviors and what they actually were gonna do. In this video, we have a six month follow up. Let's see how they did. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Molly Vodi with financiallypresent.com, your one-stop shop for finance and educational or investment educational needs. And today we are taking a trip back down memory lane, at least for me, uh, where we went on a family vacation to Kerala, North Carolina. I like to say Corolla, but it's Kerala uh, for all the locals. And um, basically my kids uh, took some time to use some of their allowance money. And I wanted to see how their thought process has changed between the six months of when they previously did it uh, back in November of 2021. So here's some footage and feel free to take a look. But before I show you the footage, it's important to note that I do agree with giving kids allowance. Um, for us, it's something very small. They get a dollar a week and they know specifically already at their young ages that a dollar is not enough. It's something, but it's not everything so that they know that they will have to work for any additional money. Um, but then this is also separate from and unrelated to doing chores and helping out around the house. So we do not pay the kids to do chores. Uh, instead, they have the allowance and that's separate. That's for things that they want. Mommy and daddy take care of their needs and they also do chores to help out around the house. Take a look at the footage. Kids, so you know we're on vacation, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, well, we have, um, we're gonna go to the grocery store, not the grocery store, but going to the store and I brought some of your allowance that you guys can use. All right, so you, you're only going to use $7 each, all okay. right? Because, you know, inflation is is rampant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, but you cannot go over it, remember? Okay. All right, okay? Okay. All right. Correction, it's $6. Your budget is 6 all right? What do you think? Okay. You have $6. What do you think you can buy? Look, let's look at these numbers here. What? Okay, well, how about... Ice cream. Look at that. Even this. A kitty mini. $7.95 out of budget. Kitty mini. You could probably get one scoop. <laughs> how much is it? Do you know? Dollars. Yeah. Go look down in the. Oh, look, Grace is in the upper right. right. Oh, fourteen ninety nine. Grace, check the price on me. Uh, seven. Almost your budget. You guys want to go to the store? Yeah. Check something out. Let's see if you get more luck. Watch this, you see how it goes in the video? So cool. Looks like fireworks. Maybe part of your glow party, I don't know. Would be cool. Five dollars, so remember that. Oh, you see some stuff over there though. You know, you can always decide to combine. You can combine your efforts too. Because you could do, you could get one thing, right? If you both combine your money. What's six and six? Right? Well, your $6 budget is a little rough. It is rough. Oh, careful. Huh, decisions, decisions. Check the price, well. What does it say, Will? Here's one. 
I said, what does the price say? <laughs> you used it to grab another one. I think six dollars. Six ninety nine. Hmm. So it's six dollars? It's technically seven. You would need an extra dollar. You know, another thing you guys can do is probably combine your budgets. Right, Grace? What's six plus six? What is it, Grace? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve. That's correct. Yeah. So, if you guys get something individually, six dollars each, right? Or you combine together, you can buy something that's twelve dollars. Buy something that's twelve dollars. Think about it. So, I guess. Also, don't have to get something okay. today. Like, think about we it. We could go somewhere else too. Let me see that one. Okay, so that's four dollars. William, again, unless you guys combine, so that plus that, so this is four and that's seven. You technically can do that and stay under budget, but William's spending more than you. William. Are you ready? All right, well, combined, you guys stayed within, technically. So are you guys gonna combine your efforts? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> what did you get? No, give me the item first and then the money. Yes, there we go. You guys buying separately? For your it's gonna have to be together. together. It's gonna have to be together. Ah, together. He went over a little bit. Ah, okay. so sister. Well, we wanna do cash and then whatever, but they have enough. They have enough. Together. Mm -hmm. They'll give you money. Thank you. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> That's it. No more money. William, you owe Grace. <laughs> it's all me. <laughs> Did you guys wanna buy? I'm putting here. Your receipt. No, it's my turn. It's your turn. Your receipt. She's giving you your receipt. And your receipt. I give my own receipt. And hold on. And let's make She's going to put it in the bag. Okay, so you got this thing. Here's the bag. What do you say? Here's your bag. You guys have a good day. All right, so. There you have it. It's pretty interesting um, understanding that some kids have some level of delayed gratification. And I think that comes from just age. As you get older, you understand it a little bit better and can make some type of decision on controlling your impulses. Um, and maybe there's some, some gender uh, <laughs> consistencies as well. Statistically, they say men tend to be a little bit more impulsive uh, than women. So it's interesting to see it play out even with your own kids. These behaviors are not necessarily uh, trained. They're just raw emotions that we get from them. And it's interesting to see how it all plays out. But ultimately, um, younger kids struggle a little bit more with the impulse control and older kids are able to uh, kind of think a little bit through it and outweigh the options. Luckily, they were able to work together, which is uh, unorthodox when it comes to things like money or allowance and things like that. But uh, in them staying together or working together, they were able to stay within the parameters. So uh, I'd be interested to see how they do six months from now. So stay tuned for that. If you were, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the page and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. And until next time, stay present. Thank you.